Hey everyone, welcome back to uh, another World War II Online tutorial with Sublime Swell. Um, at last time we talked about the grand strategy of the game, uh, the big picture uh, look at the war, and today we're going to talk about defense, um, specifically how to defend a town. So as you can see, the speaking of grand strategy, this is the state of the war. Um, the Germans have pushed us back quite a bit. We don't know how long uh, we're going to be able to resist, so the cam campaign may be relatively quick this time around. We're, we're trying our best though. So let's zoom in for an example. How do you defend a town? Um, you you don't really get this from the tutorial. Again, it's it's part of that. We're moving now to the tactical level, which is one one step below the strategic level of you know the 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 great map look at the war. So what should you do in a defense? How do you set it up? How do you prepare for a defense? Um, which points should be defended? Um, what's the best way to, to to organize it? We're going to talk about all that today. So let's zoom in for an example here. Um, we have the town of Castle, for example, which I'll zoom in. You can see there, that's the layout of the town, buildings, etc. Um, it looks like we have American units stationed there. Let's see. Yeah, we have some American units stationed, um, 82nd Infantry and the 83rd Armored Brigade. Okay, but uh, let's look at, remember the forward bases from the Grand Strategy uh, tutorial. So, let's say the Germans want to attack Castle. Um, they need a forward base. And the, the one forward base they have bearing on Castle is from Berg here. If you click on Berg, click on the name of the town, you'll see the little, whoop, you'll see the little tent pop up. And you can see that it's closer to our town and it has a German flag. So they control the forward base. So if they were to launch an attack, this would be one of the points where they would depart to attack the town. And they would drive out their mobile spawns and they would lay their mobile spawns um, in a ring around the town or from the north and south or from the east and west. They, they can lay, uh, you know, multiple mobile spawns. Usually they have three or four. Um, and so it's hard to tell where they're coming from. And that's the whole point, right? To attack the town from multiple directions. So they would come from there. And in this case, there's another town to the south of it called Haysbrook. It doesn't have a forward base because it's close to Castle. Some towns don't have forward bases. But they could probably use this as well to attack Castle. So, you know, this is a, a unique example. But let's pretend that this was a town that didn't, uh, that wasn't like this. They would have a forward base here bearing somewhere. And so they would have two two supply uh, chains um, from which to feed the attack. So they could feed it from Berg and they can feed it from whatever units are stationed in Haysbrook. So remember that, that's the big picture thing. How many units are stationed in the nearby towns and how many units are you defending with? Because a defense could last days, um, you know, until the units are worn down. So let's zoom in though. Um, <clears throat> Germans are attacking, they're laying mobile spawns and we need to figure out how we're going to defend. For this, I'm going to go actually and uh, and do a mock mission so I can place markers on the map. So give me one second. All right. <clears throat> okay. So we've been, we now have a defense mission. Okay. So. <clears throat> The Germans are coming. We don't know where their mobile spawns are. So I like to break down town defense into two layers. There's the outer ring of defense, which involves reconnaissance, um, identifying where the mobile spawns are, where the enemy mobile spawns are. They could be anywhere in a 360 arc around the town. Okay, so we're just going to plop down some theoretical mobile spawns for the Germans. They'll be uh, red. We'll put one there. They'll have one, let's say, to the south. And they'll have one close in here to the northwest. Okay, so the Germans are coming from these directions. All right, what you want to do is when you join a mission, some missions will, will well, you want to create a mission or join a mission that is placing what's called a defensive mobile spawn. So basically, it's a mission where you're leaving from the inside of town, you're going to drive a, tr a truck out around the perimeter of the town and you're going to place a mobile spawn. So let's say friendly mobile spawn would be here. So this is the defensive mobile spawn. Okay. 
The point of the defensive mobile spawn is to kind of create an infantry screen, infantry and anti-tank screen as well. You can you can take AT guns from the mobile spawn, the little AT guns. Okay, you you want to patrol the outskirts of the town. The 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 goal being to identify which directions they're coming from and where the enemy mobile spawns are. Once you once you determine where those are, first thing you want to do is mark them. Um, I can't stress how important it is to mark everything during a battle. Um, so if we, well I can't place marks here because I'm not actually spawned in, but you would you would right click and then hit add report and you would mark enemy mobile spawn. <clears throat> there, there are lots of uh, ways to approach um, the enemy mobile spawns in a defense. One of the things you can do is you can take a group of infantry, and this is why it's important to play this game in squads. Um, it's very important to be on the same page with everybody that's going along with you on what, what needs to be done. So I highly encourage you to join a squad or form your own. Anyways, when you find an enemy mobile spawn, one of the things you could do is to take a group of infantry or if a, a vehicle, if you have one, and, and you get around to the back side of it. You want to get around to the back side of it and to where they're spawning, and then you just harass it. So let's say we found that one to the south, and we'd set up our set up some infantry here and here and they'd be firing into the mobile spawn as, as the enemy spawns in. Okay, what this does is it helps attrition the unit, whatever unit that they're using to feed that mobile spawn, whether it's from the town to the south or to the north, um, it's going to eat up their, their units as you kill them. All right, so, and it also draws bodies away from entering the town because they're gonna start looking for you. They're gonna come, it's gonna develop, it's gonna be a small scale skirmish. Some of the guys might come out and try to flank you um, try to kill you to stop the harassment, okay? It's better if you do this in a squad. Again, you want to have three, four, five guys um, because you need a little bit of, you know, superior firepower to, to carry this out. Um, a little armored car. Armored cars are really good for this because they're fast. You can swing them out of town, find the enemy mobile spawn, camp right behind it, and just eat away at their units as they spawn them, okay? Once you've done that for a while, what I like to do is once we've eaten them away a little bit, you get your engineer. If you have a paid account, you can spawn an engineer, and it takes four HE charges to destroy an enemy mobile spawn. Um, you run up to the enemy mobile spawn, you sneak in, preferably using a hedgerows for, for concealment, place the four charges on the enemy mobile spawn, and it'll blow up and disappear. You can do this with riflemen if you've got, um, you know, four riflemen. They each have one HE charge, so you could literally. I've got a lot of free, free, free to play players in my squad, and we run in there, and there's you know three of them, and one of me, and together we just blow it up. All right. So it, it you have to you have to kind of read the tactical situation. In this case, we have three enemy mobile spawns, so that's a lot of that's a lot of ant chains, as they say in the game. That's a lot of uh, directions of approach of ingress for the enemy. You've got three lines. You got three approaches to the town. You might want to destroy this one just because you've got plenty of other opportunities to camp over here and here. Um, you don't want the enemy to have too many routes into the town obviously because it makes it harder for you to concentrate your defense. The ideal thing would be to isolate them and have just one mobile spawn that you know um, whose, loca whose location you know and then you can set up your defense strong on that side and harass them as well. So in this case you might harass for a little while, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes or so, what more, depends, and then you'd run in and destroy it. Um, again, armored cars are useful, you could use a tank as well, um, if, there's, if the enemy doesn't have any tank support um, and you feel that it's safe enough. Um, it, it's also risky to get behind with tanks because they can be destroyed by, usually the Germans especially have tank support. Uh, beyond the the mobile spawns covering the rear, so you know you got to use discretion. Um, but that is the first ring of defense. Okay, you the reconnaissance and kind of counterattack uh, ring. Um, this is done early on, as soon as the, the ideally the the earlier the better. As soon as the Germans declare an uh, an, an attack objective. An AO, you want to get in there and start putting out defensive mobile spawns. You can have more than one. You know, just like they put multiple mobile spawns, you could have multiple mobile spawns and use each mission. You could change missions and spawn from each of the different ones and and use them to it to counterattack. Um, AT guns are also very useful to use from defensive mobile spawns. 
you can take even those small, small 25 millimeter AT guns. You can take out Panzer III's and Panzer IV G's with them if you shoot them in the right weak spots. It's a great way to have a co consistent supply of AT guns spread out around the town hunting for tanks. Um, so, you know, the idea is it's going to shorten your time to the field. If you spawn inside town, you have to walk out or run out. It takes way too long. So you, you, you don't ever want to do that um, unless there's no other option. You want to have a defensive mobile spawn. Get your AT guns out. Get your infantry scouting, marking targets, marking enemy tanks, um, etc. Okay, so that's the first layer um, of defense. Trying to think if I've forgotten anything. Um, yeah, you know, uh, part of the infantry part, uh, scouting uh, routine on the outskirts of town is finding enemy tanks. Really important. If you have a paid account, you can use the Sapper class, which has the heat uh, charges, anti-tank charges. You place those on the tanks. You can sneak up on them. It's really quite simple to sneak up on them, usually. Um, using all the concealment you can, get up, put them on the weak spots below the tank. They don't even know you're there. Um, best way to do that, but obviously AT guns too. So let's zoom in. The Germans are pushing. Our mobile spawns on the outskirts aren't really stopping them. They're starting to take uh, spawns, uh, depots inside the town. Okay, the little trucks here are the depots. All right. Now I'm going to explain. The town to the north, Berg, has the forward base. The town to the south is close, and they're probably using this to enter the town as well. Okay. So the, mo the, the thing you need to look at in a defense, when you're doing an in-town defense, now you're doing a little bit more close-in, street fighting sort of thing, is you want to figure out, well, which depots are the most important. When the enemy captures a depot that is related to the city, that is connected to the city from where they're attacking, so in this case, Berg, the Berg depot is going to be the depot where they can spawn directly inside town. So if they capture the Berg depot... I'm zooming in here. Berg Depot is this one right here. I'm just going to put a blue, uh, blue marker on it. R2. If they capture that depot, the enemy now doesn't have to use the mobile spawns on the outside anymore. They can spawn directly inside town, and you've got a problem. Okay? So you have to identify those. Berg is one, because they, ha they control that forward base. Haysbrook is another, because it's to the south. And it's part of its bearing on the town. So this depot as well is going to be a really important place to defend. Okay. Um, the depots themselves, those, those marks I placed aren't actually accurate. There's, there's two things in the depot. There's, there's two elements to a depot. Okay. There is the place where you spawn. And then there's the place you need to capture. So the CP is the capture point or control point. Okay. At this depot, for example, if we have a mission, if the Allies have a mission f starting from this depot, they're going to spawn in the spawn, which is this building right here. Put a, I'll put a blue marker on it. This R4, that's the spawn building. The spawn buildings, they are two to three stories, and they're brick. They're kind of an orangey, reddish brick color, and that's where the enemy is going to spawn if they capture the depot, and that's where you spawn when you control the depot. Okay, the point that you capture to take it away from the enemy is this little building right here. I'm putting a lot of markers, little target markers, okay? They're the buildings that have a little um, kind of front door entrance here. Do you see this? It's long rectangular, well, short rectangle, and it's got this little thing sticking out. That's the depot itself. They're, in the game, they're gray. One store, well, they're two stories, but they look like a one story. They're kind of short. Um, not that tall, and they're gray, and they have a flag hanging out. Flag of, in this case, it'd be an American flag. Here's one. It's another depot. Here's another one. Okay, it's that little short rectangular shape with the thing sticking out. That's how you know. All right. <clears throat> so Haysbrook, important depot. All right. You want to have a close-in defense here. You want to. Now you're talking about defending the actual building, one building inside the town that's crucial for the enemy to be able to spawn in. Okay. Now what I do with my squad. If, this is again. It's it, it's so important to play as a squad, just because it's so much more effective. Um, but um, again, what we like to do as a squad is we will set up sandbags. All around the, the, the depot, the uh, control point, we'll set up sandbags just to obstruct the enemy so that we can have kind of a 360 view around it and defend 
and harass them. We'll put multiple sandbags, obstruct them, you know, multiple layers even if you have time. All right, and then your guys are in there. All of a sudden, the enemy comes around the corner and there's four rifles pointing at him, you know, that sort of thing. Another important thing is to have a guard inside the, the, the CP. This is something that nobody likes to do in defense, but it's very, it's crucial to stopping the enemy. Even if you're not um, doing a fixed kind of, I'm defending this CP, I'm defending this point sort of thing, you should periodically go into each, if, depending on where you are in town, stop, stop in, stop in and check in at your local uh, Holiday Inn Express and see if there's an enemy inside capturing it. Because the game doesn't tell you when the enemy is capturing the points. You have to go in and check. So part of it is being on patrol and going into the, to the CPs and checking if there's an enemy. They could be capturing it right under your nose. Um, all right, so you can do that. That's kind of like what I like to do with my squad. Set up around the CP. Other, other good things to do are to set up with um, in places where you have a cross shot on the alleys okay so this building right here probably has some windows two or three stories to it and you could shoot down this alley here cut off the depot has the CP has two entrances one in the back and one by that little that little porch so here you could cut off that alley get a cross shot stop them from before they get in and then you got probably another building here maybe this one where you'd also have it you want to set up a crossfire make it as hard as possible for the enemy to get in so crossfires are really important. Um, <clears throat> this is where the LMG is useful because the LMG is good for locking down lanes. Okay, you lock down lanes. This even this long even this long corridor here along the army base wall, you could lock it down probably from within your spawn. You could set up a machine gun right here, and just look down this way. All right, so that so that's how this works to give you an idea. Remember to patrol the town when you're running around town, no matter what mission you're in. Stop in, check the check the um the CP and let your team know that it's empty all right so you'll type F2 which is the target chat which is the chat for everybody that's defending that town or attacking that town and you go into the depot or the CP into the building and when you're standing there you type dollar sign here all right dollar sign here you press enter all right in here in this case it's not going to show you but it'll give you a percentage. It'll say uh, Haysbrook Depot 0%. It means you control it. Okay. But it'll say if it says uh, Haysbrook Depot 57%, it means you're recapturing it and you're halfway recapturing it. So it's a way of announcing to the team, hey, we're recapturing this depot or hey, this one's clear. All right. Dollar sign here. That's how you do that. Alright, lots to this. You can tell this game is very complex. There's a lot of tactics to it and you won't learn it through the tutorial. So it's it's important. You know, I, I try to show everybody this as much as I can. Um, okay, crossfires, defending the actual, this is a close in now, close quarters defense of the, of the important um, CPs. Uh, checking the CPs periodically. Okay. Um, and let's see what else. Uh, you, obviously, you can use tanks inside town. They're very effective, okay, um, at locking down lanes as well. If they're vulnerable, you have to kind of keep infantry around them. Again, squads, uh, keep infantry around them, kind of looking on their backs. But, you know, you'll die. I mean, it happens. So, um, that's it. In town. Let's say, let's see. As time goes on, the enemy captures one of these spawnables the spawnable depots they capture this one on the south the first thing the enemy is going to do once they capture a depot a spawnable depot inside town that allows them to capture the army base okay the army base every town has one sometimes if it's a big city they have multiple army bases the army base is where you spawn vehicles it's the place that has the most supply for creating missions so once they capture a spawnable depot the enemies are running into the army base trying to capture the army base bunker and in this case the army base bunker is this building right this target sign right here it, it it's you can't miss it it's kind of a um a cream colored building two stories and it's got sandbagged windows um it's yeah it, it the, every army base has one and that's the actual physical point they have to enter they have to get in there and, and capture it all right what happens 
they capture the spawnable, and the standard the standard tactic is to surround the army base. Let me delete some of these and delete all of them if I can. The standard practice when the enemy is now going for the army base, they're going to set up all around the perimeter. Okay, they're going to set up in the buildings. They're going to set up here in this church. They're going to take the second stories, and they're going to and they're going to harass the crap out of you from all the buildings surrounding the army base. You're going to notice this happens a lot. Okay, infantry will just hide up in here and pick you off. You're spawning in. You're running around the army base trying to get out, and bam, you get hit right in the army base. So you get and you see flashes coming from the windows. Okay, so when you're defending the army base, things have gotten to that point. A good thing to do with your squad or with your mates is to go through the buildings around the army base, clear them out, flush them out, go check the buildings, go in the second floor. I promise you're going to get kills. You run in there, check the second floors, flush them out, flush them out of the edge of the army base because they're going to try to surround you. It's, they're shooting in. They're shooting into the army base, picking you off, eating away at your, attritioning your unit, eating away at your supply. Um, <clears throat> another thing that they'll do, not only the buildings, as, as it gets stronger and they get more established, they're going to start cutting the avenues. They're going to start cutting the, the outskirts of it, especially the doors. What they'll do is they'll lock this down. They'll lock this little avenue down, this one, this one. Put uh, Usually machine gunners just posted posted looking one direction, cutting anybody down that gets out on this side and this side. All right, So you get an idea of how you can respond to that sort of thing um, when you're doing an army based defense. Um, they will cut off the doors. Obviously you spawn vehicles in the army base. It's the most important thing. Vehicles come out of here. This is the vehicle spawn. So they're going to set up anti-tank guns looking down these down these lanes so that when you're, as soon as your tank comes out you'll get blasted. Or they'll they'll make or they'll have them look from the outside in right at the door. Okay. The idea is to you're, as you're trying to get tanks out, you you know you're 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 scrambling to get tanks out to help you with the defense. They're going to start taking them out one by one and over and over until your unit is out of tanks. Okay. You can tell when the army base raid's happening. It gets it gets it gets tight in there. <clears throat> so. You know, another thing that you could do is if you do escape from the army base when this is happening is to go look for the AT guns or the tanks. They, they, some, they bring in tanks as well, and the tanks will sit and cover the lanes and sap them. If you got a sapper class, go out and sap them. Okay. Um, and uh, another way to respond, I mean, you kind of just use your common sense for this, is you could set up, you could set up in the lanes themselves and kind of and close them off, at least to infantry. Anti-tank guns tend to get killed because it's so easy for infantry to run in. But you could set up sandbag bunkers, um, maybe, for example, right here. You want to try and put them at a place where, obviously, you're not going to get shot in the back from a second-story window. All right. Um, try and close down those lanes. There's lots of different strategies. You could also occupy the buildings, which, honestly, is a good, is a good thing to do because then you can shoot in and you can get the infantry trying to get to the army base bunker. And then obviously the same rule applies to the army base bunker. You want to have guards inside. You want to have people sitting in there getting, re getting them out when, in close quarters combat when they do get in because they will get in. Um, and as the pressure gets higher and higher, you got to get closer and closer in. Just same thing with the depots. As, as the pressure gets harder and harder on the depot, you might have to just retreat into the depot itself and just fight it out there. Um, it's kind of the idea. Okay. Uh, I have no idea how long this video has gone, but I don't want it to be too, too long. I'm trying to keep it at 25 minutes. Um, spawnable, army base happens next. Get ready for that, okay? Um, and then the other depots uh, I'll go into in another video. They're, they are useful, um, but I don't want to talk about that here. The city depot is not a priority. Um, Usually, I, I wouldn't worry about this one too much. If they do take it, the, the priority is the spawnable depots and then the army base. All right, those are the, those are the most important points in any town that you're trying to defend. Um, those are the two layers. So a general rule, another general rule about fighting in towns is, in general, as you're fighting, you, you know, maybe you're decided your squad's going to just skirmish in the center and kind of take out people coming down the main road. Buildings. You need to watch the windows, the second stories and the third stories. 
one of the keys or the secrets to fighting well in towns is actually just picking a nice window, holding up in it, and just picking off enemy. You know, this game is all about staying alive and getting the first shot and seeing the enemy move and, you know, not being seen. So it's a campy kind of game, some people like to say. It's, it's more of a simulator. It plays like Arma. It's not in your interest to move so much because you'll be spotted. So in the city, use the buildings to your advantage. You know, set up crossfires. Say, I'm gonna, we're going to cut off this corner here. There's, the, you know, there's an entrance to an army base. There's a city spawn. We've got a view on this other depot here. You got to use your common sense. This is actually this building right here has a look at uh, has a look at this spawnable depot, the Bergs. So you could set up a machine gun here, get sandbags across the middle, um, you know that sort of thing. But use the windows; they get great views, and the Germans will be using them too. So you're going to have to go and flush them in. That's another task you have to do when you're in town fighting. Flush out the buildings, clear them out, make sure that there aren't Germans. Look for the muzzle flashes and the sounds. You'll hear them, and they're nine times out of ten they're coming from a window. So look out for that. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. And right now, I think that's it. Um, enemy will eventually get tanks inside the town. And when they do, the best way to get them is, well, sappers. Sappers, if the tanks stop, get in there, put the charges on the weak spot, and take them out. If you have anti-tank class and you have a bazooka or something, that's, a good, that's another way to do it. Um, but yeah, I, that, that's kind of all the way there's a lot of flexibility but there, these are the general rules that I, I kind of like to follow for defending a town you got the outer ring and then you have the you have the tactical control of really important points like the army base etc uh, and there's small tactics to that so yeah i hope this helps and uh next time i'll i'll see if i can add to this or or talk about attacking a town